Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we are going to take a look at um, a couple more tools in Kodu today. So we got uh, New World, clicked on New World. Now today we're going to take a look at um, these landscaping tools. So from the paintbrush here over to the water right here. Um, okay, so the paintbrush tool uh, is interesting. Oops, let's escape there. Basically, if you hover over and then you go up and you click on one on, on the left hand or right hand side, so I click on this blue square, I get this options of which type of tool I'd like. So the line tools, like, um, well, for, let's just go in order. So the square tool, basically, I can add on the squares. If you see that here? So I can just slowly add on the squares. And remember, I can zoom around just to make sure that it's just where I want it. Okay, so I can add on squares. I can also go in, um, the circle tool is very similar. Then we have these line tools. So basically the line tool is if I start in one spot, oops, sorry, if I click and drag over, I can create these um, uh, kind of uh, areas, right? Or lines using the Kodu tool. Okay, so that was a click and drag motion with that tool. Okay, so let's go back down. The other thing I can do is I can actually choose what what um, what pattern I'd like to fill with. Uh, so let's say that I want this kind of orangish color here, um, and I can basically go in and I can choose another look here. Oops. So I can go in. I can choose a different color that I want uh, this this brush to be. So you'd have to set the the um, shape of your brush first, then go in and choose a color. And if you notice, then uh, I can start to make uh, the land a different color. And this is great for things like, uh, say you want to distinguish, you know, one area from another. Color is a great way to do that in a video game. So. Okay, uh, let's go on to making hills. So next thing we're going to do here is we're going to make hills. Now notice... Um, you have a lot of different options here, okay? Um, the most interesting, I think, is the soft round brush, because watch what happens. Um, it creates this kind of effect where you're getting um, kind of these smooth hills that are better for a Kodu to, to drive on. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm holding down the right click right now, and it kind of just grows things up the more I hold it down, right? Okay, if I hold down the left click, it'll grow the grow the land down. Okay, so I can flatten things back out if I like. Now let's take a look. So that's the soft tool. So let's take a look at the hard tool. So if I were to select the hard tool now, it's a kind of a different thing. So it grows it straight up um, or down depending. So that's me left clicking. So I right click to grow it up and left click to grow it back down. Okay, uh, so that those are the basics. Um, okay, let's take a look over here. This is the magic brush, right? Whoop. Magic brush. Okay, so this is going to select an entire area. So notice it, it's based upon color. So when I when I go over uh, this green area, it's going to select everything of the same color that's touching. So it has a you know a limiting value, basically a value range that it's looking for. So notice when I click that green part now, um, let's go ahead and spin around. So when I click that green part now, uh, what I did was I was able to raise or lower the entire green part at the same time, uh, which is really useful. Um, so, my world's gotten a little bit too big for me there. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, take a look at um, at uh, this next tool. This makes the ground smoother level. Okay, so let's say that I take this. Uh, we can roughen the surface. Okay, so let's take a look at these tools. So we can roughen the surface. Um, if I scroll down, oops. Okay, so if I scroll, oops. Uh, 
Okay, so let's take a, take a look back at roughening the surface. Notice that when I do this, I get kind of this effect where things just kind of randomly uh, roughen up. And this is good to create barriers inside of your game. Um, you know, uh, this, this hills, you can really create areas in your game where the Kodu can or cannot travel. Um, you can also use it con to contain water, as I'll show you in a second. Um, so there's spiky or hilly ground, you can experiment with that. Here's making ground smooth or level. So notice when we go into these tools, um, basically, if we click on here, it's going to kind of take an average of all the, uh, you know, the pixelated areas that you're, you're um, selecting there. It kind of brings them to an average, if you can think of it that way. So notice it brings the tall ones down, the tall ones down, and brings the bot, the low ones up, and it kind of brings them to one average level. It will eventually go down to the ground level, um, because you're essentially averaging with zero at that point, if you can imagine that. So we can make it absolutely flat, if you like. Uh, this is another good way. Say, say I want a way for my Kodu to get up onto something. You can imagine I can use this to kind of create kind of this slump in the ground that will eventually get uh, Kodu up onto some some object, if you can imagine. Okay. Now let's take a look at the water. Um, water is a little bit difficult. So water. So if we take our water and we. Um, Water must go over terrain. I missed that before. <laughs> okay, so water must go over terrain, so we need to make more terrain. Okay. Add in some terrain over here. Oops, and I had spiky ground in there. Oh, oh, as you add in, I'm sorry, as you add in, if you hold your spot over one. Oh, no. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it adds at the same height, maybe? I don't know. I'm still figuring out some of Kodu's <laughs> controls here. Um, Sometimes it does some wacky stuff, and I'm not always sure exactly why it did it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're adding in ground here. I don't know. It looks like maybe it's averaging some things, maybe something like that. Okay, so we're adding in our um, this area right here. Basically, I'm just I'm just uh, creating a space for our water, and it will kind of become apparent in just a second. I just kind of ruined my the look of my whole thing here, but uh, it's just a tutorial, so no big deal. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in some water. Of course, you can choose the uh, design of your water. Okay, so now we take a look here. So I went ahead and added my water, right? And I can right, I can left click or right click to raise the um, raise the height of the water. So I raise this all the way. Um, you can see that what I've created here what I've created here is kind of a pool. Almost. I've created this kind of empty space with water around it. Or this kind of space with water inside in a, in a piece of land around it. Uh, if you notice, the underwater terrain, well, here's an interesting one. We only have water underneath terrain. So you'll notice in the spots where I put no terrain, uh, there's you get this kind of cube where there is no water, actually. Um, so that's something to be careful of. I can look underneath the water, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so if I go back to the water tool, I can edit that water by left clicking, and it will bring the, it kind of down to the um, to the same. Uh, sorry, just down uh, with the left click, and then with the right click, you can bring it back up. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this out here, just because it looks a little bit wacky. I like smooth terrain myself. Okay, uh, so those are basically the terrain tools. Uh, I, this is something you can play around with all day long. So uh, 
So it's it's the type of thing though that it's going to help uh, tell the story of your game. So uh, <clears throat> it's definitely part of your planning phase. You'd want to make sure that um, you know uh, you have everything in there that you need for your game, <clears throat> the story of your game. Uh, it's also a thing that you need to test. So if something looks like a code, you can go over it. It may or may not until you test it. So plan and test is the name of the game. Uh, good luck.